Are you having issues with live view on your Blink app? Well, here's how you can get it back. Welcome to Blink Blink. Let's get started. First things first, make sure that your Blink camera is in live view mode. You can do this by checking if the LED indicator on your camera is showing a solid blue light. If your camera is doing just that and it's probably working fine, then let's move on to the Blink Sync module. Blink cameras require a connection to its Blink servers via the internet to relay the live footage that it records to the Blink app on your phone. And this Sync module is what this whole system relies on with regards to its connectivity to the Blink servers. So it's very important to first address the issues faced by your Sync module first to in turn fix issues regarding your live view mode. So check if your Sync module is connected, synced and in operation. You can check its status by making sure that the blue and the green LEDs are lit constantly on your Sync module. You can also check the Sync module's connectivity to the Blink app by going into the Sync module settings from the Blink app homepage and analyzing the Wi-Fi icon on the screen. If you're facing issues with internet connectivity, then your Blink camera might have a hard time relaying the live footage to the Blink app on your phone. So ensure that your internet connection is strong, stable and fast enough in order to sustain the live view footage to be streamed in real time. Blink recommends a stable internet connection of at least 3 megabits per second of upload speed for best results. You can check the connectivity status of your Blink camera by going into the camera settings of your specific Blink camera from the homepage, tap on general settings and checking the connection to Wi-Fi and sync module settings under the network tab. Now, if your internet plan is slow but stable enough, you can try reducing its stream quality. You can reduce the video quality of your Blink camera by going into the camera settings once again, tap on video and photo settings and set the video quality to standard or saver based on your internet plan. If you're usually connected to the 5GHz Wi-Fi signal, make sure you roll down to the 2.4GHz Wi-Fi signal because Blink cameras only support the 2.4GHz bands. A pulse cycle is an extremely useful troubleshooting step in ensuring that your cameras do not have any charging related hardware bugs. To pause cycle your Blink cameras, simply remove its batteries and let it sit for about a minute. Then put the batteries back in and let it sit for another minute as well. Pause cycle your Blink Sync module, simply unplug it from power and let it sit for about a minute. Then plug it back in. If your above steps didn't work for you, then you might need to reset your Sync module. Basically, you will need to set it up from scratch, ensuring a fresh experience. To reset your Blink Sync module, press and hold the reset button on the back for about 5 seconds, till the LEDs on the front flash red. Then, go to the Blink app on your phone and tap on the Sync module offline banner that pops up. Then, tap on the Delete Sync module option on the bottom. Now, scan the QR code from the back of your Sync module to make sure that you properly delete the listing. Then, add the Sync module back again by pressing the plus icon from the home screen of your Blink app and following the instructions. And, there you have it. All you need in order to get your Blink camera's live view back in action. Make sure that your internet is working fine. Ensure that your Blink Sync module is properly functioning. Pause cycle your Blink devices and reset your Sync module to its factory defaults. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Blink related content.